I do love this job. I like the fact that I get to see trends around the world before I get there. I, I keep my eyes open for things that are happening everywhere so that we can be a, I can be a, ahead of the game. And I've noticed something actually recently that's uh, freaking me out a little bit. Um, it's a trend that's global and it's just starting to come to Canada. I saw it last time I was in Vancouver and a little bit in Toronto. Um, I don't know if you've seen this trend though uh, uh, where children aged seven to 14 have become evil little shits. Has anybody noticed that at all? They have zero. Oh, oh my God. Like, just no respect for adults on any level whatsoever. I was on a bus this last incident I saw. I was in Vancouver. And uh, this young fella gets on, about 11, maybe 12 years old. And I don't know if you've ever seen this, where a kid pulls out a nicer mobile phone than you have. Like, he pulls out, like, this, this uh, expensive, like, smartphone. It's like, that's way better than my phone. He's 11. He starts dialing it up. He doesn't dial up a guy. He puts music on it with no headphones. Is there any, oh, yeah, it's the most irritating thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, I couldn't put up with this, so I walked to the back of the bus, and I go over to this kid, and I go, hey, do you mind turning that off? I don't think anybody wants to listen to it. Felt like I made a connection, started to walk away. <laughs> About three seconds later, I hear this, what? Like, just this scream, and I turn around, the kid stands up, and I watched his face just contort with anger. His bottom lip started to quiver, he snarled a little, he puffs his chest out of me, he was 11, he was like, poof, like it was nothing, yeah? <laughs> But he had no fear, no fear at all. I'm a big guy. This, and that's when I realized kids aren't afraid of us. That's why we need to start randomly attacking kids. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You see a kid misbehaving on the way home from this show, pull over, beat the shit out of him. The better dressed you are, the better message you're sending. Kids are supposed to be afraid of adults. That's the natural cycle of the universe. They should be hiding in cellars like they did in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. They shouldn't be walking around like they own the place. My buddy goes, you can't hit kids, Pete. And I go, why is that? He goes, well, because we passed a law here making it illegal to strike children under the age of 14. I go, you know what? That's a good law and it shows we got big hearts. But you know where we went wrong with that law? We told the kids about it. Why did we tell the kids it was illegal to hit the kids? They all know if you hit them, you'll go to jail. So now we gotta repeal the law, not permanently, just for 24 hours. Just, to, just so we can have a little window where we can have a whisper campaign, just amongst adults. Thursday too, we're hitting kids, get in shape. <laughs> you'll see people working out for two weeks at the gym, lifting weights, are you doing this? I'm doing this, yeah. <laughs> two o'clock rolls around, just start ringing the bells. Ling, 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 and just turn and punch the closest kid you can find. 24 hours of that and kids will behave for a full year before that becomes the most popular holiday in Canada. <laughs> Folks, you guys have been great. My name is Pete Johansson. Have a good night.